When was the first time you met with Fari? November 12th, 2018. And what happened on that day? I thought the obviously the open was incredibly uh, visually striking with all those colors, but I thought that the nature aesthetic um, matched with the very close up interview aesthetic, and uh, a lot of the scenes built around um, the one new performer really created um, an interesting dynamic that allowed you to um, engage with the piece in a way that you might not, you might not necessarily um, think the narrative is working at that level of depth, but it doesn't really appear to be a very detailed, oriented, and constructed um, aesthetic and mood that's really established not just by the performance of the lead actor, but by the visual models and the visual cues um, throughout the piece. I thought that the rhythm of the, the piece really work, worked well as the piece went on towards the end. And I thought that the lead actress, lead actor, I'm sorry, really reflected a great level of range, not just in his performances, but um, in terms of his um, physical performance, not, and not just in his, his um, line delivery, but just how he was able to reflect emotion, reflect, uh, reflect strife, um, stress, while also reflecting scenes in which he appears to be incredibly calm and calculated and ruminative. And I thought that those um, matching uh, themes really created a, a complex um, space in which you can uh, engage with the piece and really understand it in a way that um, obviously there was a, a strong intent, but it was open to interpretation for the audience member in terms of um, what he was doing, who he was, and um, how he was approaching um, his uh, uh, current dilemma. So I thought it was well done or well designed, a really strong stylistic and um, cinematogra um, cinematography uh, approach that really um, reflected a level of um, folks and detail that came through. This film was so beautifully lit and beautifully shot, especially in the like interview kind of scenes where it's just the close-ups. Um, it was just, it was so beautiful to watch. Um, and I think that stood out because the other scenes that we see uh, all looked very um, different visually. So like when we see him in the water, it's very gray and he's thrashing and it's, um, there's just so much contrast between each, um, scene where it's like the flashbacks and then, and then current life. Um, and I think that worked really well for the story because his background is so tumultuous and chaotic and filled with strife and anger. And I feel like the camera work and what we see on screen really reflects that. But then when we see him in the present and he's having the interview, he's calm and it's warm lighting and it's soft and everything is very grounded. And it's because he has won and he is at peace with himself because he did what he needed to do in order to um, carry on with his life and get the um, revenge that he was looking for. So um, I thought that this was very expertly done. There were two shots that really stood out to me as far as camera work goes. That would be the opening shot. The overhead uh, zooming in shot was really cool. I loved how it was kind of slow and methodical, just really kind of set the tone for the whole thing. Um, and then the shot with the water and then the fog on top of the water. I really liked that as well. Visually, it was really cool. Um, I thought this had really nice music. But um, one of the standout scenes for me or parts for me was when the guy was on his bed and you could hear the gunfire. Just a really good performance there, really good moments. Um, overall, I thought this was really intriguing and kept me guessing. And I thought it was really well done. The opening scene on the three tops was also very natural. I liked it. Also, the scene at the ocean and the heartbeat effect where you feel the frustration and the fear. Then we are coming back to another scene when this individual is dragging what seems to be a body and digging in and you have this beautiful, again, visual of the mist on top of the river. Uh, the music, photography, and lighting are very artistic and they are paired with a very cryptic plot and great performances.
with an extra clever title. The sequence was definitely interesting and it makes a great use of suspense as the story unfolds. This is a very you know, tense piece, um, you know, to do with like human trafficking, refugee, um, all that type of stuff. And it was, you know, very tense um, and done very well. It was acted very well. And I think the, the main actor did a really good job with facial expressions. And yeah, it was very interesting.